Aaron, what was the biggest key to that ninth inning rally? Wow. You know, um, just top to bottom, I think, you know, starting off getting on base and then, you know, just getting Hicksy up there with, you know, some guys on base to tie it. You know, I think there's a lot of good at-bats all the way around. You know, I think G started off, you know, it's just... I, I could go through the whole, every single guy, and you know, every single pitch was important. You know, working, you know, one of the best closers in the game. You know, working him into that spot, and then Hicksy coming up big for us, man. It was, it was big time. What does nine walk-off wins say about you guys? Uh, we're just never out of a game. You know, no matter the score, even if we get down early, uh, if we have a lead and blow it, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. You know, as long as we, you know, still got a chance to hit. You know, this team has a chance to win the ball game. Yeah. was saying that you guys are almost the opposite of emotional in the ninth inning. You guys stay calm when your backs are against the ball. Do you, do you agree with that? you think that that somehow helps you guys rally? Yeah, well, you can see it in everybody's faces, like, when they're in the box. Like, there's no there's no emotion. You know, there's some emotion when Hicks hits a, you know, game-tying homer in the ninth. You know, you show some emotion there, but then it's right back, right back to work. You know, you saw, you know, up and down our lineup, guys just, you know, working the, working the at-bat and the moment not getting too big for guys and, um, and just believing in each other. Uh, that's, I think, the biggest key for everything is just trusting the guy behind you and the guys in front of you. Is this one a little more special coming against the team closest to you in the standings and the rivalry you've had with them the last few years? Um, no, nah, win's a win, you know, especially but especially against a team like this, you know, it, it is big, but, you know, a win's a win. You know, they're, you know, one of the best teams in the AL, a team that we'll definitely see down the road. And um, you know, I was... I'm just lucky to pull this first one out and kind of take this momentum in tomorrow. How about the atmosphere uh, with the fans and the reactions there you were, that uh, they were uh, giving? Um, no, it's, that's why New York, New York is one of the toughest places to play. You know, he's, he's some of the best fans in the world when you're wearing, when you're wearing pinstripes. And, um, you know, they can kind of get on you when you're opposing team, no matter who you are. And, um, you know, they were with us the whole game. Even when we got down early, you know, we tied it. Then we got down again with another three-run blast. Uh, you know, they stayed with us the whole game all the way to the final play. Aaron, now that there's no games before your big day tomorrow, are, are you antsy? Uh, are you happy to get this over with? What's your thoughts coming into tomorrow? Uh, we'll talk after. We'll talk after. Okay. Aaron, have you ever felt more confident to play than you have this year? Um... I always try to feel confident, you know, every single day, you know, every year. Um, but I, honestly, like I, like I said before, you know, my confidence relies on my teammates. You know, we got a lot of good teammates, a lot of good guys around here that, you know, continue to put up good at bats. You know, continue to motivate me, push me every single day. You know, especially when you're sandwiched between, you know, Anthony Rizzo, you know, World Series champion, and then you know, DJ LeMay, who got keeps continues to win batting titles and come up big for us. You know, it just kind of pushes you to, you know, go up there and try to do the same thing. What's the feeling to have a walk-off hit? I mean, something you've done twice now this year. Uh, it's good. Anytime you can help the team win, you know, it's, it's, you know, there's a sign on your way out, you know, to do the dugout. It says, do your job. And, you know, that's what I try to do in that situation because, you know, all the guys in front of me were out there doing their job too. Uh, it drives you when you're on deck about to walk up, but then you kind of take that slow walk up to the plate to kind of, you know, control your breathing, you know, lock it back in on what your plan is and what your approach is. And then, you know, from then on out, it's out there, go have fun like you're in your backyard. And then what are, what are the feelings when you do sit down and you feel your thoughts about Oh, it's, it's amazing. You know, there's no better feeling, you know, especially here in New York. And, you know, seeing your teammates, you know, the smile on their teammates' faces, I think is really what, you know, caps it all off for me. Uh, you know, he threw him a lot of first pitch slider, then some heaters and sliders again. You know, I think he went with the splitter with two strikes. So um, I kind of had a feeling when they had the mound visit before I went up there that they're kind of saying, "Hey, don't a lot of off speed. Don't give me anything close. Try to make him chase." And um, you know, luckily I was able to spit on some close pitches, and you know, thankfully got one 3-0 that I could I could handle.